Over the next few videos, we're going to take a look at adding sound effects to your level. This is important for a lot of reasons, and most of them are going to be fairly obvious. You're creating an environment, and an environment can often be defined by what you hear, either directly or indirectly. Maybe a sound just kind of sets a little bit of a mood, or maybe it's something obvious, like you can see great big roaring flames and you expect to hear them. I mean, you even say the word roaring flames, you kind of want to hear a roar. Now, what we're going to do is create some various ambient sound effects to scatter through our little demonstration level. We're going to take a look at sound wave data, how to construct your own sound cues, some of the various actors that you can use to position sounds in and around your level, and we're going to take a look at reverb volumes, which allow you to add reverberation like an echo, as well as how to create ambient zones to control where sounds are most audible and how they can get muffled as you pass from one room into another. Now, to give you kind of a quick demonstration as to how sounds can be really important to change the feel of a level, here is our demo level. And currently, all we have are some very basic sound effects. Our mover actually has one, uh, as was actually demonstrated in the setup of the simple level. And then really, aside from that, all we have are the base sound effects which come along with gameplay. So let's go ahead and fire this up. And you hear a few things. If we run around, you can hear footsteps. If we shoot our weapon, you can hear that too. So you know that there's sound to be played. But everything else is just silent, and that can be really unnerving. Now let's compare this to the same level, but with a lot of ambient sounds added. So we'll just jump right in. Now if you listen, there's a sound of wind outside which makes the place feel kind of lonely, and some strange noises which will play randomly every few seconds. Now as we move around, this machine over here seems to be emitting some kind of strange noise. And if we come over here to this little watery tank, you can hear bubbles. If we go to the back room, we can hear these generators. Now, I'm actually picking this up in stereo, but since we have to record these videos in mono, you won't actually be hearing that. There's some more bubbles over here, so a lot of different ambient sounds taking place. And even in here, you can still kind of make out the sound of the wind. But if you listen closely to these engines, these great big generators, as we step out of the room, they're still audible, but only just faintly. So the idea is that you wouldn't be able to hear them through the wall. And we'll show you how to set all of this up. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to begin by jumping back to our basic level. It doesn't have any sounds. And we'll just consider this to be an intro to what we're going to cover. So let's go ahead and call the video here. And in the next video, we'll take a look at some of the types of assets that you'll use as you create your own sounds.